What's up, everyone? I hope you're all doing all right today. I see Soren's here so far. Maybe other people, I don't know, but I see Soren. Can you hear me over the music? I turned it down, but... Hey, Umbra. Let me turn it down a little more. So there's like a few game options. Um, what do y'all want to play first? Yeah. Sorry, I moved my mouse. And I had to choose, um, I had to choose, um, Jackbox Party Games 5 because they didn't have 4 on the list. So that's annoying. And you can't like just enter enter the name of the game. It seems like it has to be on the on the list. But okay, we can start with uh Fibbage. Oh really? Well, luckily, you don't actually have to have the game to uh, play it. You just go to jackbox.tv.tv uh, .tv, and uh, you can join in. Good. Let's start with Fibbage. There's going to be a four letter code to join the room that you enter. Which one, which version do y'all want to play? I don't know yet because apparently there's two versions. Hey, Howler and Robbie, what's up? Fair enough. I guess we'll, we'll just go with the top one. And it's there's the code X J E K. Wild Umbra, fantastic. That's great. Alright, um, are you gonna want to join with us, Robbie? Let me actually move my laptop back a little bit since I'm gonna be using my tablet for this. Baby, I think my stylus is over there and I might need it. Did you hear me? Okay. I would have sworn I brought it over here, but I don't see it. Give me a sec, guys. I don't know I don't have a switch and I would say if it will accept using a stylus with a soft tip that would be the best way to avoid scratching it that's what I use when I draw but Nintendo devices seem to want the um, uh, styluses that have the hard harder tips so I don't know uh, just give me a sec so I can see if I can find my stylus real quick
All right. I'm back. So, so far we've just got the three people. That's fine. Maybe more people will want to join later. But we'll just go on in because I don't want to keep y'all waiting too long. I don't see everybody is in. Also, how do you have like VIP next to yours, Umbra? Oh, let me let me join the voice chat. I don't know if there's voice chat in this game, but let me go down to the voice thingy. And y'all can join in there if you want. There we go. And Soren, you're welcome to join my server as always. And yeah, look, right next to, if you look at my screen, there's a tiny little VIP next to yours. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, okay. How do I, like, I don't see an everybody is in button. Do you have that option? Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, you can go on and hit, uh, hit that. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long, and I don't know who all is going to want to join us. Um, people may come in later and want to play but there we go okay so it's whoever is in first gets to say we're all here apparently I've never played Fibbage I've never played any of Feldman's these games wigs nobody does it like Feldman's cookie speaking oh wait sorry that that was my old job <clears throat> this is Fibbage Three players. You know, comedy comes in threes, like the Stooges, the Marx Brothers. That's pretty much it. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's play. <laughs> This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Okay. Time to pick a category. First up, a man in Shaxi, China, was shocked to find out that the thing he'd been using as a nutcracker was actually blank. <laughs> now, enter a bluff on your device that sounds real enough to fool the other players. If you can't come up with something, use the Lie For Me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it already. Oh, he's bossy. Now find the truth and select it on your device. <laughs> mm. And what did people pick? <laughs> That's great. Oh, you lied to me, Umbra. Oh. Perfect for cracking a lot of nuts. I almost chose that one. In a 50 foot radius. But I was like, that's insane. Still. Not too bad. What's Pick up, Umbra? Category. Yo, Pam, how's it going? Going alright. 
Is it too loud for you guys? Or do y'all have like the um Yeah, that was difficult. Let me do it for you. Oh. Here's do y'all have the uh for you? Volume on that. Barrera has stream an turned down. Job. Spain just made her the nation's first. Uh, I have the stream turned down, but I can't now. quite hear the game with through the voice thingy. Otherwise. Oh, I see. Well, if it's better for you not to be in the voice chat and listen to the stream, I get it. I just, I didn't. I didn't Finish realize that makes sense. Button. You have to watch the stream. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, seek the truth. Those are interesting answers. Let's see what everybody selected. Oh, you got us. <laughs> I Use got the you. flowery language. Ah, I know, right? Miss. Nice work if you can get it. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Oh. Sworn got it. Here's the question. Sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia may sound like a life-threatening affliction, but you probably already had it if you've ever blank. All right, type in your lies. But yeah, Amber, if you, um, if you rather hear this stream, I totally understand. I didn't think about that. Write something Aww. And use the lie from Q, why? All right, That's just mean. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you guys picked. Hi to you too. You want to join us after we're done with this round? Oh, you got me. I got sworn. <laughs> What's up, Rainbow Crusher? How you doing? Ah, fair enough. It's the technical term for brain freeze, and it's why I bring my ice cream to a gentle So technically, if eating. you've had brain freeze, that's correct. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> I've actually heard that one before. Fair enough. So it's technically correct, two, but because it wasn't exactly what they were looking double. for. It's okay. It's okay. You did well. Select a category. You want to join in with us uh, next round, Rainbow? Or would you prefer being called Crusher? Let's see what we got. Michelle Holbrook angered a lot of parents when she founded a company that sells blank for babies. Oh, God. Write your lies now. <laughs> Right, it's <laughs> oh, okay. I pick something that's insane, insane enough to sound true because people are weird. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, which one is the truth? Oh! <laughs> what? I feel like all of these things go together yet shouldn't be on here. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see how things shook out. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Sure they might not I've heard of it before. I watch a lot of stupid lists stuff on YouTube. Fantastic. I don't know why I didn't 
guess that because of things like those beauty pageants for little kids. I know, right? Rainbow Crusher, you do not have to have the game. You can just go to... Uh, Let's check in with someone who really matters. You can go to Jackbox TV and then when we switch games, there'll be a room code that pops up and you just put the code in and, you, and put, choose your name. In January of 2013, Russell Crowe tweeted, I love... You can actually join our audience okay, for this one. I don't know. I don't remember the code. It's up in the top right. I oh. mean top left. Oh yeah, okay. The code is up in the... That makes sense. So yeah. You can join in the audience now, and, or just watch it this way, however you prefer. And the next game you can uh, join okay, us. Take a look oh god! What? That one! Oh my god! <laughs> you know which one, too. I know which one. One of them kind of sticks out. Yes. It's just awful. Watch All that right, be what it is. What? Oh! I was hoping it was puppies. I'd rather it be puppies. Good! What was the fourth one? Maps. Okay. Yeah, you all missed it. Uh, so clearly I was a nervous. Tweet for AAA. I was gonna be sad. Umbra is definitely winning. F. <laughs> all right, choose a category. All right, here it is. In 2017, the Atlanta Zoo lost a bet with a Rhode Island Zoo and had to name their new baby hissing Curse cockroach that are posted blank. Like it can't. Type in your lies now. Well, if my link isn't working, um, you can just type it in. It may be the way I typed it because I didn't do the www dot or whatever. I don't know if it requires all of that or not. All right, where's the truth? <laughs> really? Okay, so I didn't do the full link like I was supposed to. Thank you, Soren. Your mother, really? Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Did anyone guess it? Soren's got us. Soren, you got us. <laughs> no. Which one was it? Well, Tom Brady. So much for that one. Uh, yeah, it was a Super Bowl bet. Good job, Sword. You got us both. It's final fibbage time. Pay attention, because this last one's worth triple points. Have fun. If you love ice cream, do not order the sundae in South Korea. It's cow or pig intestines filled with blank and blank. Enter your lies now. Fair enough. <laughs> Rainbow Crusher said his name is obvious and funny. I can't, I don't really see the audience thing. So unfortunately I can't see your name yet. But again, next, this is the final round, so we'll be done soonish. And uh, you'll be able to join in with us. Right, hey Mux, how's it going? Me Alright, pick the truth. <laughs> I love this part. I don't know why I picked the one I did. 
I have no reason for what I picked. That was awful, Soren. <laughs> Why would it be peanut butter and ham? <laughs> oh god, have you had it before? Or were you aware of it? Umbra. What's up? Have you had it before, or were, had you heard no, of it No, it before? was just the only one that made any sense. Fair enough. It, it seems like a traditional dish, and what's traditional in China? Uh, noodles. And also, blood is is eaten by all sorts of places. I was not aware of that. Umbra won! I might have to do this one time as, like, kind of a contest thing for a giveaway. That could be fun. Okay. So, do we want to try the other version of Fibbage? Sure. Alright, so we'll have the code shortly. It's O-J-V-X. Ooh, I joined first! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that eyeball. Also, be patient with me, please. Uh, I am watching on a delay, so... Oh, no, well, I didn't get what you meant earlier. Oh, no, no, no. I understand. I understand. Are you going to, going to join with us, uh, Crusher? Oh! He must be Puffy Pop. Unless Soren changed his name. I think that was Soren. I think he just changed his name. So, for anyone that would like to join us, you just go to uh, Jackbox TV. Uh, Jackbox.tv. Oh, there's Skittles. What up? That's gotta be Rainbow Crusher. Get it? <laughs> because Skittles taste the rainbow. <laughs> Crush the rainbow. <laughs> So you can just go there, Mux, and uh, type in the room code if you want to join with us. If not, that's cool. I just want to make sure that everyone has a chance before I start the game. And this goes for anyone. I only see some names. I, I think I'm seeing all of the names for the people in here, and like half of them are bots. Mux. Thank you, Rainbow. Uh, Mux is usually on a pretty big delay, so I'm trying to give him a chance if he wants. But he's also probably playing uh, Warframe. This is pretty darn entertaining, though. I'm just going to give him a minute or two. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so he's just going to watch. So I'm Cookie, and this is enough about you. The game so in the, in some cultures the is point of the game is kind of to be of deceptive. You're supposed to give an answer Look that's at that. four players. You know reasonable what I call enough. A four player game? Four but play. I just add the word four to Coldplay, my favorite um, band. Also silly and enough. I take out the word cold. That it's funny. Oh, but and, uh, it seems like it could be right. Get in and join the audience. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and oh. guess the truth along with players. Okay, here we go. So that's what the audience can do. Here's how it works. You're about to see a question on your device. Answer truthfully. Then you'll get your chance to make up lies about the other players. You get 500 <laughs> points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and if the question's about you, you get a reputation bonus for every player who gets the answer right. Ooh, right? All right, then. Well, I am. This will be interesting. Time to answer your question. Oh. Mm. I don't think I spelled it right. I'm 
pretty sure I just butchered how you spell it. I do right, like the name you chose, uh, Crusher. If this player had their own robot, its primary job would be blank. <laughs> Write your lies now. I did see your dice. I like them. Wonder how many people got pervy with it. <laughs> and these are your <laughs> the one that looks true on your device. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's all right. I get the feeling this is one of those games that gets exponentially more fun right, the better you know the people that you're playing with. I could see that. Ooh, we got an audience lie. There's something you might be interested in. Who's watching us? What was the truth? That was. I thought that was too obvious, to be honest with you. I did too. One person in the face, it would be blank. All right, type in your lies. For all I know, what I wrote is true. I liked the finding the remote one because that seemed reasonable. I would probably <laughs> have a robot for finding my keys, hey, I'm though. I'm serious about that timer. Finish quick. That's what I was going for. <laughs> okay, look for the oh. truth and pick it. Um. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what did everyone pick? <laughs> <laughs> nice Skittles. <laughs> well, there it is. I don't even know who that is. Who? Rain Johnson. Ryan Johnson? He's the guy who butchered uh, The Last Jedi. See, that looks like Crane, not Ryan. I know, the but is, he, he, that, the he's, that's the way he spells his stupid fucking name. Okay, enter your lives. Fair enough. Welcome back, Robbie. Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone. Yeah, we may want to... I don't know if we can back out of this or not. We may want to because... Okay, where's the truth? LSD is a job now, I see. <laughs> and what did people pick? Y'all picked that because y'all heard me say I butchered the spelling, didn't you? <laughs> I, I would kind not... of assumed yes. <laughs> I don't want to be a coffee intern for DE. I want to be a community manager. Ah, same difference. Okay, focus up. <laughs> he the said he didn't see job. The dumbest thing this player has done in the name of love <laughs> was blank. 
Write your lies now. <laughs> Sorn didn't see Chops. <laughs> Hurry up and finish before time runs out. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. That one's depressing. <laughs> oh, the last one? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Mm. Damn. That was your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's depressing. Yeah, I know, right? That's why it seemed like it would be <laughs> spin. That was, I almost picked that one, and then I saw the last one. It's like, that's so depressing. That's probably it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I know. Try Dion, get, I tried to get real there. You did. You are now entering the final round. Okay. We might as well just finish. And one lie. Anything at all. Dig deep because you get points for any player you fool with your lie. And for spotting other players' truths. Go! Tick-tock, remember you need one truth and one lie before time runs out. <laughs> so I'm done to see, Chog. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, which statement's true? One. I walk my little one up. <laughs> Take a guess. Oh, either of these. Really? Unbelievable. Yeah, I could totally see you as a kid trying to jump off a roof to fly. While also, I think you like animals, if I remember correctly. Well, someone didn't oh. answer. That I was I was talking and I forgot to click. <laughs> because I got all of them right in the last round. Nice. I still have this scar, have... too. There's a scar right beneath my lower lip and then beneath the, um, like, just under my chin where it bit. Hmm. I was like five. Um, I will be right back. Um, and then we can change games if y'all would like. But I shall return. Lie 
Okay, I am back. He was sitting on and thus could not find his uh, star plushie. <laughs> Alright. Poor little guy. I know, right? That's fair. That's fair, Crusher. So do we want to continue with Fibbage, or do we want to look at some of the other games? Fibbage is funny, so I'm fine continuing with that. What? Oh, it... I wanted to go back. Oh, I see what happened. I hit the wrong one. Okay. So yes, do we want to continue with Fibbage, or try something else? We can always get a sampling. And if we want to continue after that, just go back to whatever we decide on doing afterwards. You mean just go through all of them and then see what people want to play the most? Yeah. Okay. And well, then let's do Survive the Internet next. Why not? Sounds like fun. Right? I've been training my entire adult life for this. <laughs> okay, Soren. So... Alright, hold on. Y'all can just go to this website if you want to join in, and then type the room code in and choose whatever name you want to use. It was fun. Still gonna join in with us. And hello, Oboe, by the way. I'm gonna get time for people that just came in to hop in if they want.
I like those old dial-up sounds. Very retro. I know, right? Oh, it doesn't look like I can start it. Or do we need at least three players? We likely have a... Because it tells me it's waiting for all players to join, so it looks like we probably need at least one more. Oh, that's okay. Um, unfortunately, we do. It seems like we probably need at least one more person to join. So whether it's Obo or you, or we wait for Sorn to come back, whatever the case is, I can't start it right now because I don't think we have enough people. I was really confused briefly why the mouse wasn't moving, and then I realized that. The mouse, the one with the really dark borders, is not my mouse. Oh, I don't think y'all can see it on the stream because of the chat box. I wonder depends on the game. Huh? Yeah, it I was depends gonna on the game. I was gonna say I wonder if there's other games we can do that are team player until um someone someone else does decide to join. Yes. Alright, so it may be more fibbage. <laughs> It's fine with me. Yeah, if you look uh, as the requirement, the underneath the uh, game box up to the right. Oh, okay, so we can just like highlight it and see. Yeah, this one requires three. Uh, I was trying. That's not what I was trying to do. It messes me up. I think that select is the back button. Okay. So, this one is two, survive is three, 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 so there's only one we can play until other people decide to join in. Hmm. And that's fine. It's fine with me. Code is EWTQ. Ah, I was doing EWTO, that's why it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> that would do it. Alright, so we'll just pop in here. I am Cookie, and I'm only 25,000 days away from retirement. Just you and you and me. Okay. 
Let's get cozy. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. Audience members try to spot the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Let's go. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for fooling your opponents with your lie. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. All right, choose a category. Why not? <laughs> Here's the first question. During the time it was open, Alcatraz was the only federal prison that had blank. Prison features. Now enter a bluff on your device that sounds real enough to fool your opponent. If you can't think of anything, that lie for me button will give you a suggestion for half the points. Do it now. Tomorrow's the last day of the week that you'll be... Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. So, are you going to be starting earlier than 10 a.m.? Are you going to pick? Um, okay. <laughs> I had okay. to think for a minute there. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, who picked what? Ooh. Ah. That was before somebody hogged all the hot water. I'm talking to you, C Block. <laughs> really? Ah. Breath. Um. <laughs> you did cheese. Mm -hmm. Breakfast was a good, like, Time guess. Time to pick a category. So, and Crusher, what time are you is, going to be starting? In February 2014, Vice President Joe Biden said there was one overwhelming reason not to run for president. He was referencing the fact that for the rest of their lives, U.S. presidents aren't allowed to blank. Write your lies now. Oh, fair enough. Hopefully the traffic won't be too bad. Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, find the truth. Ha. <laughs> 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 huh. This is interesting. I love this part. This is a pain because of the delay. I don't know if I can lessen it. Uh, not your finest effort. No, I'm just indecisive. Uh, thanks, They're not JFK. allowed to drive? Ah, oh, that's the one I was about to click, too. Why aren't they allowed to drive? Because people want to assassinate them. They have to let... Like, Secret Service people drive them around. <laughs> Select a category. But I don't it know. seems like. I don't know. Okay, here's your question. If you're a Canadian who's 65 or older, you must give the Prime Minister at least six weeks' notice if you want blank. Type in your lies now. I guess that makes sense. There are people that want to assassinate. The lie for me button. Hello, V and K and Virgo Bros. Shoot. All right, where's the truth?
And what did people pick? Boo! And he needs 12 weeks notice if you're inviting him to karaoke. Uh, yeah. That seems like a worthwhile civil service. I know, right? It's such a Canadian thing. It's so polite. <laughs> Get ready for round two where all the points are doubled. How about some Russian fibbage? <laughs> if you wanted to use the Russian version of the phrase, what goes around comes around, <laughs> you'd say, the cat will eventually get a downpour of blank. All right, type in your lies. The cat will eventually get a downpour of what? <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Yes. Okay, which one is the truth? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> oh. That was a complete miss. The audience lied to us. It. Damn you, okay, audience. Pick a category. <laughs> I don't know, mice tears just seem too uh, topically Obvious. obvious. Yeah. Here's the question In honor of the 500 year anniversary of the Protestant Reformation, inventors in Germany made a robot priest named Blank. Oh. Okay, enter your lies. A robot priest? I'm sorry, my nose is kind of running. Oh my god. Finish quick! It. Or just hit the Y for me. Uh. You gotta pick something? Okay, take a look and find the truth. See, what was the name of the guy that nailed the, okay, the, the list of things to the uh, the church door for the Protestant Reformation? I don't remember. And you all missed it. Plus, you two seem too punny. I was sure that was your lie. No, I put down George because I ran out of time hardcore. Mm. What do Luther! You mean? I was going to put Luther 2.0. Gotcha. What do you mean he can't see? He's dumber. Sturmer. Try this one. In the mid-1800s, Queen Victoria employed a man named Jack Black, whose official job title was Royal Blank. Answer your lies now. the lie for me button if you're stuck. And also, hello, anyone that's joined and I have not said hi to you yet. Okay, Crap. here you go. Find the truth. Let's see how things shook out. Ooh. 
Here's something you might be interested in. CS, what do you, um, what do you mean you can't see? This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. In 1907, Kellogg's had a promotion offering women a free box of cornflakes if they blank at their blank. Oh, All right, no. type in your lies. Okay, here are your choices. They all seem ridiculous. All right, let's see what everybody Just picked. a bit. <laughs> I voted for the wrong one. seem the most reasonable. Like, yeah. how else are they going to actually get a free box? That's fair. Well, GG, Pam. You, you completely stomped me that time. <laughs> did. That was good. Alright. Does anyone want to join us? Nicole is still here. They left. They said they couldn't see. I don't know why. I just got a really random message on Discord. I'm not even familiar with the person that messaged me. Wonder if Does anyone else want to join in on some games with us? But it's like super early in the morning for him. And 
does anyone else want to join in with us? Now we can play a different game if you would like, Crusher, uh, because the other games all require three or more people. So we can try one of the other games out. Switch to something else Hi, if Crusher Cookie, still wants to and play who with says us. you can't host a game snuggled inside a sleeping bag? Three-player game. For when you do have friends, just not a lot of them. <laughs> oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and guess the truth along with players. Let's play. You just got insulted by the game. <laughs> Well, this is round one, which means you get five hundred. Mux said, "Is really lying." With your made-up answer, and you'll score Mux one thousand for finding the truth. Indeed. Kind of because there's a number of people watching, okay, just not all of them are able to join or may not want to join. Hmm. All right, question It's a one. shame because it's a lot California of fun. Bill, it is. The nickname the Tom Cruise Bill is unique in that it outlaws blank. Write your lies oh, now. <laughs> Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. You can pick the lie to me option and it'll or lie for me option if you can't think of anything. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. <laughs> Those answers though, right? <laughs> Outlaws fighter jets. Interesting. <laughs> I know, right? Let's see what everybody selected. Though I wouldn't put it past California. <laughs> Did you choose mine? Uh, no? I don't know. I guess the audience chose mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, he bought did. his own ultrasound machine to see if Katie Holmes was having a little wingman or a little wing lady. Jumping on couches. No, that would be... I know, that is Tom Cruise. What is a sonogram? Oh, that's the thing that's... with the baby. Time to pick a uh, yeah. Gotcha. Jumping on couches. Soren, you should have joined and you could have made that your answer. <laughs> Let's see how this Oh, but I kept. guess he just came back. Entrepreneur Leo DeWatts has made a hefty sum selling $115 bottles of blank to China. Oh, Type gosh. in your lies now. <laughs> Crusher, choose. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. That's okay, Sonya. I get it. Life happens. Alright, pick the truth. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> These answers, though. Bottles of Beetlejuice. That actually right, seems kind of plausible. 
as like a pro protein supplement. Yeah. Yeah. You lied to me, Rainbow. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh. What? <laughs> Hi. Ah, uh, you can really smell the terrible food. Oh, being British cooked. air? Yeah. You know how China is all super polluted and shit, right? Yeah, so clean air seems like that would have been. <laughs> that was your why. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, choose a category. Let's see what we got. In 2016, the Scottish craft brewery Brewdog offered a $20,000 ah, beer pub end of history. There we go. It had a 55% alcohol content and was served inside Gosh. blank. Okay, onto your that lives. alcohol content, though. That is a lot of alcohol for a beer. I know, right? Like I was, I was just thinking, that's that's not super unusual okay, for like whiskey truth. or whatever, because that exists. But then I noticed it was beer. Yeah, that's it's insane for beer. <laughs> Holy grail! Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, let's see. The take a look. Holy Grail. <laughs> Even I both went with human parts. Would you believe? <laughs> what? Don't worry, Squirrel Advocates. Only ten bottles were produced. There's no way I would ever drink something out of a dead squirrel. It's awful. Ah. It Maybe if they think... scooped it all and then like turned the fur into like a flask or skin, I don't know. Wine skin deal, maybe? It makes me think of the Bob's the Burgers where they were drinking out of an iguana. Mm. Select a category. I hit this before I noticed the porn up. searches option. Harold von Braun was a white supremacist <laughs> who loaned thousands of dollars to hate groups, but weirdly, he also invented blank. Write your lies now. You gotta think of something that seems reasonable, don't you? Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me, bud. Depends on your definition of reasonable. Hey, Bolts, how you doing? I said I noticed. Okay, I hit where's this... the truth? Oh, sorry, I hit this before I noticed. Porn searches, searches. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> gotcha. Nice, Pam. <laughs> you guys blew it. Sea monkeys. I didn't realize the dude who started sea monkeys was a white supremacist. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> it is just a giant scam. True. Time to pick a category. I think Bolt's just wowed me choosing vibrator. <laughs> All right, here it is. The adult site WoodRocket.com shot a 2015 promotional video. Did you choose porn, porn searches? Attempted to I did. No, I per I took porn challenge. Now. Oh, okay.
you're able to bolt, Hurry, you should join my next right round. Button if you're stuck. Maybe we'll play something else. Okay, which one's the truth? Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the center of Tootsie Pop. I like it. Okay, <laughs> what did everyone pick? <laughs> the audience gotcha. Mm. Because when gonna watching be porn, you shouldn't have to cry alone. I didn't think that was going to be right. Hmm. Now point your eyes at this thing. It's time to look at this. The patent shown here is for Paul R. Harris's invention. It does, doesn't blank. it? It's very retro. All right, type in your lies. button if you can't think of something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bolt said the ah. pedo strap. All right. See how things shook out. <laughs> oh, you all got it. <laughs> well, everybody got it right. Nice. Just be aware, it only works if your child is a creepy, scaled-down version of you. <laughs> I was gonna put in and stirrups. I couldn't remember how to spell stirrup. S T U R uh, I P. Welcome to the final fibbage. It's your last chance at points, and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. A man in Ardmore, Oklahoma, was arrested in February 2017 <laughs> because police say he offered to trade blank for blank. That was great. Enter your lies now. It's in the okay, upper right. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Or upper left here. <laughs> Money for goods and services. All right, who picked <laughs> no, what? Right. Oh my god, it was vodka for Girl Scout cookies. It was. That's what I said was so ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. Ah, Pam. You pulled out ahead right at the end. I did. Barely. Alright, so... Do we want to try something else if um, Rainbow wants to stick with us? Yes, I want to try that, that, that survive the internet game, see I what know, that's right? about. 
Let's try that. Okay, so this is going to be to join as um, a player. So if you don't want to do that, you have to wait before you join. N N U O. Oh, Bolt joined. Whoa, whoa. Hacker man. I wonder who that is. Did Crusher change his name? Or did someone else join? I don't know. I'll give it a minute and see if anyone else wants to join and then I'll... Uh, Head enter. Okay, well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We definitely appreciate it. Um, you have a good day at work tomorrow, Crusher. Now I wonder who Hacker Man is, because it's not it's not Rainbow Crusher. It's a Hacker Man, of course. <laughs> it just you said it's a Hacker Man, Howler did just like you did, and I was like, I turned and I'm like, is it you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's four of you. I guess my son isn't the only one who has online friends. Take that, Toby. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. Okay, gang, follow me this way. Alright, so now if you're in the audience, you can join. Or if you just want to be part of the audience, you can join with the NNUO code. Hey, I'm Todd. And just like an ad for those shoes you looked at earlier, I'm going to stalk you across many different websites. Gosh. In case you need some instructions, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are, quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to uh, what? Oh, dear. Oh, I got it. <gasps> Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. Oh, my gosh. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. <laughs> Let's start things off at a... That was unnecessary. <laughs> ...social networking site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. See how this goes. Who's Hacker Man? I like if you look at the timer on the on my screen. It's the world being thrown into a garbage can from a file. <laughs> nice. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words <laughs> out of context in the most ridiculous way you can.
a little very depressing instant messenger interaction popped up. Word in your posture is terrible. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. <laughs> It's not wrong, though. you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. <laughs> okay, here are the verdicts. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. You, the victim, get some pity <laughs> points. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. <laughs> there was a little scream. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's go to, uh... Video site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. This inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. <laughs> How you doing? You're more than... That's awesome. You're more than welcome to join on the next round if you would like. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Diddy would say, vote or die. <laughs> vote. Says we're 
supposed to be Let's see who got the votes. doing like absolutely ridiculous comments here. How will that shuffle the leaderboard? Let's find out. <laughs> oh. I like it. Me and Bulls tied on that one. Nice. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, web forum. <sighs> Check out this new prompt. Or don't. I'm not your dad. On, baby, let's do the twist. It says you can join as an audience member. I don't know what they, what audience members, like how they participate here, but. It's in the upper right here. Uh, you got your little logo over it Fair on enough. the stream. Fair enough. I was also typing it in as you said that, so... Hurry up! Hacker! There we go! <laughs> okay, you knuckleheads. Here we go. Give you a sticker afterwards. <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are you, Ben? Oh, let's join anyway. Have I missed people? Cargo shorts are comfy and give you lots of beautiful people. Thank <laughs> <laughs> All right. You look like a buffoon. <laughs> it's time for the scoreboard. You are still in the lead, dude. <laughs> but that's alright, it says. But it's okay. Let's send things at a... Uh, awesome, glad to hear that. Sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. All right, here's your last prompt. Who's you know what to do. Is, are you saying you suck? Is that you, Mux? Neither of these things. Mux just randomly said that Hacker Man sucks, and now I think that's Mux. <laughs> It's 
It's the last round, so don't hold anything back. No, you don't have to, Venom. Um, because if you do, you'll end up hearing me double, because you have to have the Twitch stream volume on. You can, but you don't have to. Honestly, I don't know how Ember is dealing with it. Dealing with what? The echo. Or are you just waiting until you can read it? I'm reacting to stuff as I can see it, and I'm reading it from the uh, my screen. The pig That's daddy pork witch is back. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was an ad that popped up on the screen. You, you gotta hurry up. Gulp. Oh. Oh. Gulp. It all comes down to this. for me. Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. <laughs> this is, I love, like, well, I'll explain in a minute. Let's see how everybody voted. <laughs> Look at this half wit. Oh. It all comes down to this. Um, the one that said I love my life and shared a roller coaster. I had to pick two things that I was terrified of, and it was roller coasters or spiders. And I'm not afraid of either. Congrats! Mm. I always knew it'd be you. So. That's why, you know, saying I love my life, it didn't go off well. So the person who had to do that, I don't remember who it was, unfortunately, or I don't know who it was, but unfortunately, that um, wasn't going to go well for you because it didn't matter. I didn't get good options for mine to be funny. Bolt's got the most pity. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to do this again, or...? I'm really enjoying this one, personally. Okay. <laughs> well, we can go with the same players. Though I probably should Let's give another people a that, chance uh, to join. Crowdfunding site. Sorry, guys! So, you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. I'm sorry. There are no wrong answers. I didn't think about so that. I apologize, honestly. says... Next round, though, remind me. Next round, I need to allow room for new players. Will do. Thank you. Because I'll Another forget. player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Oh, 
Thank you, Venom. I appreciate it. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh my gosh. most ridiculous here. Place your vote now. <laughs> and here are the results. <laughs> I got a vote. <laughs> burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. <laughs> I hope your parents aren't watching. Which one? I was involved in both of those. Oh my gosh. The... the... Let's see where everyone stands <laughs> at the moment. the lives of people in the ghetto everywhere. <laughs> ah, because you made, you made a thing about sc smoking weed on the porch. <laughs> Great. Now let's go to, uh... <laughs> Social media site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Sorry. It's okay. I, I got really into mine. Here's your play. <laughs> now mold it into something beautiful. You'd think I'd learn my lesson, but yet, here we are again.
whatever the comment you think looks the most <laughs> absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Winnie the Pooh movie. <laughs> like, I knew I was handing somebody gold, but there you go. <laughs> Let's see who got the points. Just in case you're curious, the, the question I was answering was, what is your best so pickup line? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay, let's see what that round does. <laughs> oh my god. You okay, Pam? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I saw it and hey, I was I like, idea. okay, let's go to a... snuggle buddy, I know what I'm doing. Check it, <laughs> Is headed your way. Now get to it. <laughs> no, I won. I got the best burn on that one. <laughs> Because I'm the one who said hashtag Winnie the Pooh movie. <laughs> All right, let's do the twist. actually put makeup on because <laughs> I've been laughing so much I'm actually in tears <laughs> let's see what you rascals came up with dude I got 12 people what's up they're here for those spicy pants <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Civic duty and vote now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are two really good ones. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> and here are the results. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I shall. <laughs> Let's oh check out gosh. the scoreboard, shall we? Bolts and I are tied. <laughs> we only have time for one more, so let's end it at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so anything can happen. Oh gosh. Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. <sighs> it's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time.
Hella reminded me to think about screaming babies. <laughs> if I don't calm down. <laughs> Alright, I think this is like the last round, so... Our journey has led us to this moment. Oh, I do. I was tearing up. Voting time. <clears throat> Let's see who got the votes. It all comes down to this. I keep barely pulling ahead. <laughs> Congratulations! I wish we could stay in this moment forever. But we can't. Oh, geez, you can. Thank you. Alright, so keep playing this, or... Want to go to something else, guys? We could try some. Okay. Let's see. anyone else objects. There's monster seeking, monster bracketeering, and civic duder. I'd like to try Civic Doodle or Monster Seeking Monster. I kind of want to try Civic Doodle myself. Seems like it could be fun. <laughs> and that you have a unfair advantage? Oh no, if I'm under timer, I'm awful. Mm. You cannot give me a timer. It says agree with Civic Doodle sounds cool, so... The code is CB CPCJ. So. Oh, I remember this one. Hello. Hello. I will say, from what I remember of it, try not to overfill the canvas because everybody has to work with it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I did say pan. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> sometimes I accidentally mess my M up and do an N instead. St. Pan! <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's up, Venom? <laughs> it's okay. 
minus the face. Yeah, I figured that was you says. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got everyone in. It's gonna be joining. Three, two, one. And it's okay, bolts. Oh, I think I already said that. Hello. Welcome to Doodle Valley. Don't worry if your teeth start to tingle. The state says it's normal levels of background radiation. Thank you all for volunteering or feeling socially obligated to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. The mayor wants to turn all of the boring blank walls in the town into wholesome community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Francis. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this mural is already in progress. The local preschool was going to paint something here, but this is as far as they got before they declared it an exercise in futility. <laughs> They're very advanced. You gotta follow through, kids. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers. Ready? Still ready? <laughs> and ready. I mean, go. While these two are drawing, the rest of you can express your feelings about their work with the buttons on your device. I like the vegetable one. <laughs> Darn it. Time's running out. Hurry up and finish. Two very strong candidates. It's up to the voters to pick a winner. Hey, quit fooling around and vote! That is the most chanky looking heart ever. <laughs> I told you I do badly under pressure. Uh, you can't spoil who did it Back until after votes. the voting. Uh, you'll you'll skew, skew the results. Voters. I didn't think about that. The polls are closed. Not so fast, Delilah. What Each were you night, trying to draw? I'll be picking an emoticon that tickles my fancy and giving out a bonus to the drawing that got the most of them. This time, the bonus Umbra. goes to the drawing with hmm? the most What were you cards. trying to draw? I wasn't drawing anything. Oh. That was Bolts. That was Bolts. Bolts, what were you trying to draw? Oh, he said he didn't even know what we were doing. The people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. I'm the green name tag. Fair Yo. enough. I don't know if they get to add to it even more. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> Um. Okay then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I know. Who said Let's I don't know what to draw? Yep. Add in the audience. This time, the bonus <laughs> goes to the drawing of the most laughing fellas. <laughs> We're supposed to be drawing to make the town pretty. It's not exactly Wonderful. an easy now drawing you two get to, to add work something. with. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. It doesn't matter. Go. As long as it's funny. Away. 
Let's count those votes. What did the audience think? It's like the Mr. Peanut of hearts. <laughs> That's what I was going for. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that was you. Next on deck. <laughs> that was great. I liked it. Go! Only one person voted that entire thing. No, two people voted. You got one vote. I got one vote. That was. I thought that was the audience. Oh yeah. Uh, only one player voted. That's weird. Oh no, I do Go see away. something. Here we go. Oh no, a tie. We're all doomed. Now, now, Persephone. As mayor, I get to break all the ties. I pick this one. It wasn't a tie, though. Next up. Pretty sure it counts the audience. Go. Yeah, then ours would have been a tie. No, because we had a tie from the audience and then one extra player that, mm. that voted. Nobody move. I think our painting is complete, but it still needs a title. Use your device to suggest one. Thanks to the grass, that looks like a coconut at the bottom now. <laughs> yeah. Now vote for your favorite. Audience. Oh, no one chose mine. A tie, huh? How about I pick this one? The hard work's done. Let's step back and admire our work. Oh my oh gosh! <laughs> and the paint's dry already. Okay, I guess we're committed then. It's wondrous. Really? Okay, what part of town should we improve next? Right, no way. Right here. These are great. These are a lot of fun. I've got a good feeling mm -hmm. about this one. Go! Hello, Ascended. Oh, no. It's Ascended. Ascended. That's how they spelled it. Time's running out. Finish up quick. <laughs> Vote away. Keeps, <laughs> darn eggplant. Oh, I see what they were going for. They were doing one of the um. Okay, count them up. Easter Island heads. 
And of course, the audience's voice must be heard. Good job, sis. I like it. At least it makes me think of an Easter Island head. Maybe that's not what Next they were up. actually going for. Or what, Go. what he was actually going for. Couldn't finish the blunt. <laughs> Up next. Go. <sighs> Darn it. Shook out. Only two people voted. Up next, go. How many people we got drawing? Isn't it just the four of us? So I guess yeah, that makes guess sense. time. Okay, number two. <laughs> what do you mean nothing registers? I think he's just... Let's count oh, those he's votes. talking about he's the about icon page. Delay. Yeah. I was trying to make it look like a statue. Next up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go. There's a bad color. It ended up looking like poop. But or something, I think. Naratu? <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying uh, to think of someone with spiky yellow hair. Not Goku. I, part. I don't watch that. Uh, the animes I've watched. <laughs> Helsing. The only thing missing from this work of one. art mm -hmm. is a solid... Event. Which one? Do you see regular or ultimate? Ultimate. Nice. Um, Berserk. Nice. A lot of people don't count it, but I count Avatar The Last Airbender. I know Man. they don't, but it's a good show. It's... I don't 
don't know. Find the title that speaks to you. It's anime-esque. <laughs> um. <laughs> over 9,000. <laughs> One of the answers for titling this painting is over 9,000. <laughs> Let's see what we've wrought, huh? <laughs> it's that not the best art I've seen, oh but gosh. it's by far the most recent. <laughs> that I'm is a lot of words. <laughs> no, oh, no. yeah, it says it should have been over 420. <laughs> no, look. Look at what it's put on. Oh, yeah, the, well, now, the, that too. Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Gerald. Over 420 would have been a not... good one. <laughs> What is it? Your art has moved me to commission you to do a the party party wagon. One that'll hang in the town hall. <laughs> the problem is there are people who like go around in supposed ice cream trucks. Everybody brace yourselves selling. because you're all drawing at once this time. And I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. Viola, this is who you get to draw. This looks like it came from the town's pet registry. <laughs> You're not questioning me, are you? Because I know what's happening here. Like, I know that this, this dream this, machine. The town is well, I guess there's no reason we can't draw an animal. Let's start by drawing a head on this body, okay? Whatever kind of head you want is probably fine. Good choices here. Let's go on who's best. Someone tried a lot harder than everyone else. <laughs> Me like one of your fridge potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Now, how about we put a tail on? I went for a making him buffer approach. Those were supposed to be abs. I thought it was supposed to be hair. <laughs> <laughs> also works.
Finally, finish off this drawing with anything you want. Go nuts with it! <laughs> I like how only one of us gave it a tail. <laughs> Pretty perfect as is, gotta say. Darn it. Last vote. Let's cherish this. Let's Give take me a, a look. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the castle would be proud. You're all winners in my heart, but the votes tell a different story. <laughs> nice. I'll save it. Good work. Thanks, everybody. I got disconnected. Yes. Do we want to try this one again, or... Let's try one of the remaining two, and then I think I'll have to hit the bed for that. Fair enough. Well, it's monster seeking monster or bracketeering. So, dating themed game with monsters, or a deranged debate tournament. Uh, let's do monster seeking monsters. Since you're about to leave. <laughs> and then we can do the last one. It's okay, I didn't really know what to draw either. It's, it's just fine. The code is Y T R X.
Hello there, and welcome to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, Felicia the Wicked. I'll be hosting six nights of suspense-riddled romance, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins, unless something weird happens. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Oh, I wish I could play, but I've killed too many contestants in the past. Let's start by this is going other to be interesting. trying to set up dates. It is. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. And that your secret conversations might be seen by everyone during the dates? My bad. Only 20 seconds yeah, left. Get those messages in quick. Pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. This part really gets the goo rushing through my veins. Okay, let's see who tricked who. I mean, who picked who. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. with more than just one message. <laughs> Wait! A late arriving suitor approaches. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's not good news for you, sorry. <laughs> wow, what an exciting first night. Let's me out those wounds that you did by going to the scoreboard. It looks like you are currently doing the best, and you're doing the opposite of the best. But it's still early. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh, that sucks. 
Luxor. Now that we know how this works, let's just jump into sending out those messages. Hey, if you need to block another player, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, there's a block button in there, and then you won't see their messages. Just 20 more seconds. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. Awesome. It's daytime. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? <laughs> I couldn't finish my message. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Looks like someone had the same idea. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> If you only get one message from someone, they're probably not that into it. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what's what now. I'm sorry, Pam. I just I thought you were just being dismissive. Forget. <laughs> From now on, the highest ranking secret monster will have their identity revealed. You're currently at the top. Let's see your monster power. There's a reason I'm at the top. Mother! The mother receives a bonus heart every night their child does not get a date. If you need to read that again, you can always see the monster power rules for a revealed player by hitting the info button on their chat screen. So, if you don't want me to win, you oh, gotta make look, sure that I don't go dateless. Tonight. That might affect some of your power. No, it's whoever your child is. Who's your child? Message yeah. time! Oh, a quick word of advice. If one of the other players isn't getting much attention, they is. might be more receptive to date offers. And that's what I meant. But I can't tell you who.
We're down to 20 seconds. It's time to pick dates again. Oh, this is so romantic. Sorry, I'm a bit of a ghouly ghoul. <laughs> hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. It's date time. Uh-oh, no dates picked. I have to take away a heart now. Oh. Oh. Oh, he said his just went out. You can, you can, uh, reconnect. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? Don't go yet. There's more. Try and reload it. Ah. It might help to woo people with more than just one message. No date for the child <laughs> means a bonus for the mother. No, you should be able to rejoin them. If you only get yeah, one if you message rejoin from the someone, same, uh... you're probably not that into it. No. We already know how this will go. Room with the same code. <laughs> A pretty rejection heavy night. I've been there. But the placement is always moving. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see. What's yours, Venom? Not Venom. Umbra. On a full moon, the body swapper swaps hearts, all of them, with the person they successfully date. That's quite a power. Oh. <laughs> That's why I try to get you. Ooh, I'm I excited see. about that full moon. Get to messaging. Time to pick your date. Oh, love. So much potential for disaster and heartbreak. Let's see the date. <laughs> 
Stick around, there's another one for you. Oh no! <laughs> we know this ends badly. <laughs> Let's see if any of that changed the social pecking order. Okay, let's see your secrets. How many nights are there? Sorry. How many nights are there? I think Six. five. The serial Six. killer steals Six. two hearts yes. from a player the right. second time they date each other. From Zero my four. experience, it's safe to date a serial killer at least once. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nine, nine. She said it's safe to date a serial killer at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Message time. Are you able to get in now, Bolts? 20 seconds and counting. Alright, awesome. it's time to pick dates again. It's times like these I love being a matchmaking monster. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. Okay, let's see them. Oh, you know what? I knew you were back bolts. Oh no, I didn't choose my date, god damn it. Ooh. It's okay. I was, I was busy in Warframe. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? <laughs> Are you afraid of typing? No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. I told you what would happen. Oh, Aw, says. Okay. Yeah, all the love connections were missed this night. Let's see what you are. Mommy! Everyone the mummy dates becomes cursed. Then, I think there's so six the nights because I don't know. At the end of the game, because I haven't been revealed yet. Half a heart from oh. every cursed player. But if everyone has been cursed, then the curse is lifted and no hearts are stolen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's our last night together. Make it count. And you get two hearts for dating there tonight instead of one because it's such a special night. And there's a full moon. So fun. Get 
to messaging. <laughs> Bolt said the Kubig. <laughs> I switched it over. And yeah, the music is pretty awesome. Okay, time's up. Once again, it's time to pick your date. I'm keeping my mandibles crossed for everyone to do well. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see those dates. It's all right. Amber is probably going to have to um, leave and then you can... It's your second date. The serial killer steals two hearts. Oh. Like someone was hoping this date wouldn't work out. <laughs> Let's see like the almost so final too. standings. One last thing. It's time for the after party. Time to reveal any remaining hidden monster powers. Time for another reveal. Invisible person. I'm number two, by the way. And, uh, the invisible and, uh, person the started the game with two bonus hearts. The invisible person's score oh, my, is invisible, so they appear to be in last place <laughs> until the end of the game. Time to tally up any after-party bonus hearts. Time to see who ran afoul of the mummy's curse. Don't forget, the mummy steals half a heart from all the cursed players unless they can break the curse by spreading it to everyone. Oh, so close. How does that affect the final standing? Then one. <laughs> because his bolts went on the second date with him. I was first to start. I was like, I was first place. You were third. No, I was first place before, but now I'm third. I was first place almost the whole game. No, it, it doesn't tell you. Like when I play the game, it doesn't tell you that I was first place. No one can tell if I was first place. See? Do you see my heart? And I got like, every time Venom didn't get a date, I got a heart. Even if I didn't get a date. So I had like four hearts. Alright, well, that was interesting. Yes, it was. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Have a good night, everybody. Okay, will you have a good night as well? Thank you for hanging out. Bye, Umbra. Okay, so... You like... Fibbage and Civic Doodle. We can try Bracketeering. We haven't tried that yet. 
Yeah, sure. Whatever, whatever you want. Where's the last one? Where's the last Um, that's Soren. Would anyone else like to join? We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. Yes, As we right. whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Children's toy that's the most fun for an adult to play with. Enter your answers now. Type in the best, most winningest answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. <laughs> Time's running out. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to sidle up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you'll earn some sweet, sweet moolah. Yeah, it was kind of a short timer. But now you know. The predictions are in. Let's dive into our first bracket. Oh boy. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. You hear me? No one could have predicted this one. No, why not nerf them? Next up. <laughs> two titans squaring off. Human heart is a fickle beast. Cha ching for any prediction winners. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. I 
can't Did believe I'm seeing this. A regular juggernaut. Looks like this one was obvious. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. A real tug of war. It's a very good toy! Nice! Then a man sworn to, uh, predicted it being, uh... Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. <laughs> Predict the one you think is going to win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. This one's looking over already. A seesaw battle if I ever saw one. We're just one match away from our finals. Alright. I think it's complete. You don't have to share them, just... I want to play with that. And now the final face off. What is oh. the most fun children's toy for adults? We have our first winner. Nice. Let's see those scores. Oh, I'm just entertained by like being able to have mock gun battles with darts, I guess. It's time for the blind bracket. All you'll be given is the category. Name a very specific emotion. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after the answers are all in. Time's running out. That's fair. But do you think it would Let's be as fun as Let's see what this bracket is really about. I guess the best the voting for your one-person show. Time to get in those predictions. The predictions are in. Up first. Ran away with 
like that one. No surprises on the prediction front. Oh, I got you. Next up. <laughs> no one thought it would be this close. It doesn't get any closer than that. <laughs> are mounting over in the Omega Conference. Confusion is like my default. <laughs> Not really. But... That was a slaughter. Contenders face off. <laughs> well, go ahead and kiss your sibling because it's a tie. Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. Tie is broken. <laughs> oh, how I hate ambiguity. I, I have my finger hurts now. <laughs> Before we get on to round two, the it's worst time to make that was my prediction. emotion, and I predicted against it because I didn't think anybody would vote for it. Predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. <laughs> it's weird that this is my job. The struggle is real. Just running out the clock now. I don't believe it! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> One more match to determine our finals! of my seat <laughs> everyone, oh, everyone that vote my... so big you could hear it in the next state over that would be a good name for a one person show confusion because they are confusing and now we finally decide what is the best name for a one person show Kappa's <laughs> gonna win. An upset in the making. Winner. <laughs> Why? She told you Kappa's gonna win. Let's check out that scoreboard. <laughs> A 
And now the bracket you've heard so much about, the triple blind bracket. This bracket will change every single round. Let's start with a category. Enter any word ending in ing. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? <laughs> I don't know. Time's running out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Most awesome thing to see yourself doing on the news. Time to get in those predictions. <laughs> All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. <laughs> The predictions mind, are in. Up first. <laughs> the lead keeps changing hands. Home sounds best. <laughs> That went back and forth more than Luke and Lorelei. <laughs> Moving on to our next matchup. <laughs> Talk about a rivalry. <laughs> These two competitors have been at each other's necks all week. Not want to be denied. Hop on the news. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why would you? Mm -hmm. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. <laughs> These answers exchanged some harsh words at the press conference. <laughs> Set in the making. What the hell? <laughs> Pooping in front of the live audience. Why? <laughs> it's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Sworn said just turn on San Francisco news. No one thought it would Tick tock tick tock bong winner winner Everyone bets on the favorite and cashes in We're changing that bracket title again. The best way to take your mind off sex. Oh Get those predictions in now. <laughs> the predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. <laughs> Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. <laughs> oh no! There's oh, oh, oh. Got a tie there. Well, yeah, we didn't have a tie, so I thought we were gonna have a tie. <laughs> This could 
be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this. <laughs> so you gotta remember I'm a little bit ahead of you, so... Oh, well, you're, I guess, looking on the tablet, so... <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Big win! Daddy <laughs> likes! I don't think there was really any argument there. <laughs> One more change! Would make the best <laughs> Boy Scout merit badge. I hope your answer still makes sense. Why did you say that? And now the definitive matchup. I want to I want to say pooping. I don't know. We have a winner. Job. Of course, Kappa's gonna win. Let's see who <laughs> I mean, won it all. It makes slightly more sense than pooping, I think. Yay! One. Flippage, or whatever it's called. And then after that, I'm probably gonna. Fibbage. What did I say? Flippage. I should have called it Flippage. That's okay, Sorn. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Fibbage. And the code is? Just a sec. Uh, GKBJ. <laughs> I think I know this. I played it before. Too, Venom. Okay. Do you want to join us for this? It can be funny. You gotta try and lie and get people to vote for your lie. Hence the name Fibbage. Or anyone else. I don't know who else here. I think I'm in the four. Hey, Matt and in pack four. I'm sorry. I think in pack four there is a drawing. There is. We did that earlier. Um, with, where you have to draw on a t-shirt. Oh, on a t-shirt? Mm -hmm. mm, I didn't see anything like that. Or uh, was it on three? I don't remember. It might be three. Because the only drawing yeah. was on Cookie, the walls and for this I know one. I usually let you keep all the fake money you win in the game, but this time I'm taking it back at the end. I'm in deep with the fake mob. Did you say it smells like cabbage? Look at that, it four players. Like you know what I call a four player like game? Four play. I just add the word four to Coldplay, my favorite band, and then I take out the word cold. It equals four play. Mm -hmm. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's go! This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool, and you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. Select a category.
question one. In order to prove it was dangerous, King Gustav III of Sweden once punished a prisoner by forcing him to blank every day for the rest of his life. Oh. Now write a lie on your device that the other players might think is true. If you can't think of anything, that lie for me button will give you a suggestion for half the points. Do it already. Me button if you're stuck. Okay. Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. Let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> Oats gotcha. <laughs> you got me. First of all, it was instant. Okay, pick a category. Oh, we're tired. Yep, we did. And time's up. Now listen up. It might seem impossible, but researchers at MIT and Georgia Tech have developed a special terahertz camera that can actually and there, blank. Eh? All right, type in your lies. If you can't think of something, welcome back, Mux. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see how things shook out. Y'all guessed mine. Nope. Got the truth. What's up, I prefer bolts? a closed audiobook. Category. No, please allow me. All right, here it is. The Hall of Juji is an art gallery in Edmonton, Canada, Compton. that is dedicated solely huh? to art inspired by. Let's go something else like. and keep your video. lies now. I guess it didn't. I guess it didn't register whatever you picked. I think it's random. Write something quick or no, you can't me, pick. No, I, I picked it and then he said he, I he know, opened I, it. I don't think it registered whatever you picked. Okay, here are your choices. Boom. 
There we go. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Oh. You got me, boss. <laughs> Says who? Oh, you guess the truth says. In a way, that dog yeah. is still very much oh, alive, cool. but in a more literal way, it's totally dead. Is it really? Now for round two, where the stakes are doubled. Give me a category. The plague. I see you can't be bothered. Oh, you were supposed to pick. Okay, here's the question. William Patrick Stewart Houston was awarded a Purple Heart during World War II, which is incredible considering he was blank. Answer your lies now. You didn't pick a subject. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. Okay, which one is the truth? What did people pick? Oh. Well, I got your back bolts. Here's something you might be interested in. I almost picked that. He changed his last name for some reason. <laughs> I did. Touch your back. <laughs> Two kids in a trench coat. And now a fib no, from foreign lands. There, there is a game where there are two kids in a trench coat and you're and you're Hitler. A Russian oh, phrase similar to one bad apple so spoils the game. whole bunch translates to the blank sheep spoils the whole flock. Write your lies now. Find the truth. It's black. It's, I know black. Yeah, it's black. Hmm? The truth is black. I love this part. Gotcha. Wait, no, never mind. Oh, truth was. Oh. That's something else I got. You. I thought for sure Scabby was gonna be. like. someone else's lie. Alright, choose a category. Lap dances. Okay, focus up. 
In 2007, you know, researchers I thought it was at the be University of Nevada found that professional lap dancers earn higher tips when they blank. Okay, enter your lies. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I hit my mic. I apologize. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. All right, pick the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Oh, Bolt's goddess. Are you serious? Remember, folks, what happens in Vegas is diligently recorded and published Why? in science journals. Welcome to the final fibbage. It's your last chance at points and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. Photographer Chuck Poulin captured an incredible photo in 1987 during an event at the Boys Club of America. He documented blank meeting blank. All right, type in your lies. <laughs> okay, look for the truth and pick it. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> Ooh, says who you got me. Oh. And you all missed it. I always chose that one. Don't worry, RoboCop scanner labeled the former president not a crook. <laughs> I always chose Richard Nixon meeting RoboCop. But I thought it was too ridiculous. <laughs> But Bolt's won. Alright, so I am going to go on and stop streaming. I've been streaming for like three and a half hours, but this has been a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to be doing this um, once a month. <laughs> That's fair, Bolt. That's kind of why I did it. <laughs> um, Bolt said it said incredible in the question, so I thought maybe the Hulk. <laughs> um. <laughs> Alright, so that was a lot of fun though. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to be, like I said, going on and ending the stream, but I'll probably try to do this um, around the end of every month.
on a Tuesday, so I hope y'all all join me again. I will. Awesome. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>